get uh, two points tonight. Um, I thought we were average uh, to start the game, a little uh, sluggish, but uh, got better in the second. Obviously, our second was our, our best period, and then we didn't. Uh, we just hung on in the third. It wasn't uh, our best effort. I thought when they call a goal back against us, for whatever reason, it had a negative effect, and it was tough. What was the mindset again on the bench? You know how just. You had the goal call off. You think you're going up by four, and all of a sudden you're back to a, just a three-goal deficit. How would you manage to just keep everybody afloat? Well, you, you know, I, I think uh, the leadership is the one, are the ones who, uh, you know, get back to work. But I didn't think we stuck to uh, the same game that we played, especially in the second period. I thought in the second period we had a possession game. We got away from that a little bit. And credit to them. They made a push, and, uh, you know, uh, they, they scored in the power play. And uh, they had a great third. Like you said, uh, the second period, the best of that. Maybe what did you see from the from the team change in that intermission? What did you kind of talk about with the, with the group to obviously come back with that uh, stretch of the second period? Well, we, we talked about having a little bit more composure with the puck because I thought we uh, we did some chasing in the first period. And in the second period, I thought we possessed. I thought our offense's own time was substantial. And that's why we had such a good period in the second. It's like to see a guy get his first collegiate again you know it seems you know, it's going to be good for his confidence obviously going forward yeah I'm glad he got rewarded because he's been playing good hockey and uh, not getting points to back it up so it's good for his confidence to get his first and uh, you know you'll always remember that one D does it help sort of in those situations where you had a couple guys this weekend who, who hadn't really maybe contributed to the score sheet playing well like you said does it kind of lift the rest of the team up when you, when you, when you see pucks in the net like that well there's a Absolutely. There, there's a great group in there, and they're very happy for the guys, especially when they score their first. I think Karencic scored his first last night, scored another one tonight, and uh, Wells scores his first tip tonight. So, uh, no, they're ecstatic for those guys, and it's a good uh, team builder from that center. I feel like the motto all year has been your goaltender, Tyler Wall, another solid night in net for him. Just speak about his performance. Yeah, he was good tonight, and uh, he had to be, unfortunately, in the third period was a little bit too good. But, uh, you know, I thought the team, uh, you know, had an opportunistic seven second period, and that carried us through. But uh, no, he's a rock for us, and he's truly a difference maker in college hockey. What have you seen out of Connor's game? Obviously, a goal tonight, and just kind of being a leader for, for this team with so many young guys. Yeah, he's a gritty two-way forward, and he's he's a glue guy. You know, when you get guys like that in your lineup, you cherish them because uh, they do so many little things that go unnoticed. So, uh, you know, I think he's got a, a real good future ahead of him and can keep progressing. Coach, how nice was it to get four points out of the weekend, both games on the on the road? Yeah, I guess I haven't sat back and, and thought about that. Every weekend, if you can grab points every weekend, you'll be just fine at the end. And, you know, certainly in Hockey East, it's so tight, as you guys know. So uh, we're very happy with the points. We need to improve on several little things from tonight and then move on. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Thanks,